is that the vast majority of us have more in common than what separates us. Okay, three things before we start. One, Brett Baer is Trump's little bitch. I was surprised, but not shocked. You've been in office for three and a half years. And Donald Trump has been running for office. But you've been the person <laughs> holding on, the office. Come on. Madam you Vice and President. I both know what I'm talking about. You and I both know what I'm talking about. I actually about. don't. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that over the last decade, but people have become. Power. But listen, over the last decade, it is clear to me, and certainly the Republicans who are on stage with me, the, the, the former chief of staff to the president, Donald Trump, uh, former defense secretaries, national security advisor, and his vice president. One, that he is unfit to serve, that he is unstable, that he is dangerous, and that people are exhausted with someone who professes to be a leader who spends full time demeaning and, and, and engaging in personal grievances and it being about him Madam instead vice of president, the American people. People are case, tired of that. If that's the case, why is half the country supporting him? Why is he beating you in a lot of swing states? Why, if he's as bad as you say, that half of this country is now supporting this person who could be the 47th president of the United States? Why is that happening? This is an election for president of the United States. It's not supposed to be easy. Okay, after the interview, Brett Baer called Harris combative, but that's a lie. Baer was following his master's orders and bombarded her with lies that only showed clips that backed the lie that everyone knows is a lie because the video is all over the world. It wasn't an interview. It was an interrogation that she successfully navigated. And here's the misogynistic truth. When a man is combative, he's strong. When a woman stands up for herself, she's a bitch, but not this time. Here's the real bitch. It's not fair. Brett Baer did exactly what Fox told him to do, defend the fat orange skin tag. And that's what he did. His interrogation of Harris was intense and went way beyond his Trump interview from last year. But Americans will undoubtedly compare her courage to Trump's whiny cowardice. She stood up, he ran away. Why not debate her? No way. <laughs> but because they already know everything. They'd say, oh, Trump's, you know, not doing the debate. That's the same thing they say now. I mean, right now I say, why should I do a debate? I'm leading in the polls. And everybody knows her. Everybody knows me. But when I looked at the hostility of that, I said, why am I doing it? For? Let's do it with another network. Okay, on that point, Harris proved to the world that she will stand up to anyone. Not that I ever doubted her. She was a prosecutor who sat across from rapists and murderers and looked them in the eye and said, adios, MF. While Trump hides in his bunker, sucking his stubby little thumb, Harris will look him in the eye and shoot straight, metaphorically. President of the United States in the United States of America should be willing to be able to handle criticism without saying he'd lock people up for doing it. But bitchy little Brett constantly interrupted Harris and played the one clip from the Trump town hall where Trump wasn't calling Democrats the enemy and threatening to use military force against his political opposition. I think the bigger problem is the enemy from within, not even the people that have come in and destroying our country, by the way, totally destroying our country, the towns, the villages, they're being inundated. but. I don't think they're the problem in terms of election day. I think the bigger problem are the people from within. We have some very bad people. We have some sick people, radical left lunatics. It should be very easily handled by, if necessary, by National Guard, or if really necessary, by the military. And while she strongly stood up to bear about the missing clip, we all knew he wouldn't produce Trump's threats against Schiff, Pelosi, and anyone who dared oppose him. Why? Because Fox said no. It's the enemy from within, all the scum that we have to deal with that hate our country, that's a bigger enemy than China and Russia. So the first two points are obvious. Brett Baer, unlike Mike Wallace and Shepard Smith, and occasionally Neil Cavuto, either has a huge mortgage or simply lacks the balls to say what he knows is true, that Trump is a weak and ineffective human being. They're eating the dogs. Much less a potential leader or a president. The evidence is right there in your face, as are his threats against Americans who oppose him. In the good old days, this doesn't happen because they used to treat them very, very rough. And when they protested once, you know, they would not do it again so easily. Look at Trump's comments today about the war in Ukraine. He's blaming Putin for invading a sovereign country. Of course, I'm kidding. He blames Zelensky for being attacked. I think Zelensky is one of the greatest salesmen I've ever seen. Every time he comes in, we give him $100 billion. Who else got that kind of money in history? There's never been. Mm. 
but he should never have let that war start. So Fox News makes millions off feeding lies to the 50 to 70 million people who, yes, are intellectually challenged, or to be blunt, dumber than a box of hammers. So the word came down to bear, you are our bitch and you will attack Harris and defend Trump. I mean, this is the same week that Trump made a joke about the death of a woman who was denied an abortion and subsequently died. What the f***? What is this country? Who are these people? You can kill them. I'm sorry, I gotta take a moment here. You're saying that in California you can kill a newborn baby up to four weeks Absolutely. until after it's born? Absolutely. That's not true. That is true. That's not they true. the law in the last year or two. That is not true. That, that's not true. You need to go do your that's research. Not. So the invitation for Harris was a lie, and Harris knew it, but she went in and stood her ground. He's the one who talks about an enemy within, within, an enemy within, talking about the American people. And throughout the 27-minute interview, it was clear that this was a hackneyed hatchet job intended to make Trump look less terrible. I mean, with all of the international issues, from Russia to China to the Middle East, Bear brought up Trump's ad saying that every prisoner will be allowed to have trans surgery. But of course that's a lie. Only a few dozen prisoners in federal custody are getting any kind of assistance that Bayer implied was running rampant. It's all bull The transgender thing is incredible. Think of it. Your kid goes to school and comes home a few days later with an operation. The school decides what's going to happen with your child. Of course, this is an example of how Republicans will handle social issues that demand a nuanced insight, like when women need to visit a Planned Parenthood. There has to be some form of punishment. For the woman. Yeah, there has to be some form. One final point. As the election approaches, it's more obvious than ever that Trump is crazier than ever. And this is by design. But what happened, so, with Afghanistan, you know, I do the weave. You know what the weave is? I'll talk about like nine different things and they all come back brilliantly together. And it's like, and friends of mine that are like English professors, they say, it's the most brilliant thing I've ever seen. Trump has given up on independence and is instead rattling the cage to enrage the uneducated middle-aged white man he needs to win. I love the poorly educated. Trump is manufacturing stories and outright lies about everyone from minorities. Uh, look at my African-American over here. To immigrants. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. To women. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. And of course, Democrats like Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi. It's the enemy from within. All Trump is missing is the mustache because he's promising a world where there'll be trains full of immigrants, Jews, minorities, and dissidents headed for prisons and cages. And every day he doubles down with his violent rhetoric which is pretty ironic as Captain Man Titty's Bone Spurs is the biggest pussy since Josh Hawley's cute little dance. If you don't like our religion, then we don't want you in our country. And Trump's theocratic references are dangerous and real. But at the end of the day, the reason why Trump is running for president is the only way he can avoid prison, as cases in New York, D.C., and Georgia promise to deliver this unwelcome sound. Kamala Harris proved she is tougher than anything Fox, Trump, or the Cracker Barrel militia can deliver. And sorry, Donnie, even as a woman, she's more man than you'll ever be. This is not a normal election. Goddamn right. Yes! Tick tock, mother- I'm ready, let's go. <laughs> this isn't their Republican Party anymore! They're eating the dogs. Trust me. Shut the f*** up, Don. Who's with me? Oh, yeah, the lie. Indictable. Out of sheer morbid curiosity, I'm allowing this freak show to continue. I don't want to talk about this stuff. <laughs> Am I wrong? Yes. Tick tock. We're in a lot of trouble, Donnie. <laughs> Tiki's crazy. I'm Chip Franklin.